Joining us is financial advisor Brent Schunkweiler. And today we're going to talk about several things, but let's start about some changes taking place to Social Security. Yeah, first I must tell everybody because of my designations that I'm the owner of Schunkweiler Financial and am registered with Brokers International Financial Services, LLC. Member SIPC, which is not affiliated with Schunkweiler Financial. Social Security here on the 2nd of November had the biggest change it had in about 15 years. Wow. So what they did is they uh, changed up some of the strategies. One's called file and suspend, one's called restricted application. And it affects millions and millions of Americans. So as you're close to retirement, so for pre-retirees, retirees, or if you're uh, close to taking your Social Security, this is very, very important for you today. Um, I actually have a workshop coming up tomorrow night at Walt Library. It's free to the public. Okay. It's at 6 o'clock. And then also on Thursday as well at 6 o'clock, going over some of these strategies. Because depending on when you were born, it'll determine if you can still do some of the old strategies or if you can't do some of the old strategies. And what are some of those biggest changes? Because I know we've been hearing even every presidential debate, you hear about Social Security, Social Security. But what really changed? So let me give you an example. So one of the strategies is called the file and suspend. So uh, they're pretty much eliminating this or taking this away. Um, for most people, um, otherwise you have about four and a half months the people can still do this depending on when you were born. But let's just say I was a primary wage earner and my wife was a uh, stay-at-home mom. Sure. And she never earned her full Social Security. And we both were age 66, which in this instance would be our full retirement age. And say I was supposed to get about $2,000 a month in Social Security. Well, since she didn't have a um, Social Security benefit, what she could have done is she could have taken half of my benefit. So I could have done what's called file and then suspend. So I say, yeah, I want to turn mine on. No, I don't. And what that does is that gives her permission to take half of my benefits. So she would have got about $1,000 a month. Okay. I could have delayed mine at an 8% increase per year. And then at age 70, I could have turned on my benefit, which instead of $2,000 a month, so it would have been $2,640. Well, now they can no longer do that uh, where they can get half of my benefit until I've actually turned mine on unless you're born, you know, prior to a certain age. Sure. So definitely lots of information. So once again, when are those free workshops? Uh, tomorrow night, Walt Library, 6 o'clock. Uh, and then also uh, Thursday night, 6 o'clock at the White Walt Library as well. There you go. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining.